Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Citroen C4X. I already reviewed on the channel the EC4X, the electric version. Now we're going to focus on the petrol version. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the C4X. Now, very interesting car because this is a sedan that's uplifted. So almost like a, a CUV, but it's not. So very interesting car, unique on the market in this price range. Now we have here Max trim. That's the new name for the top trim with optional white metallic color, panda roof. Now I wouldn't advise getting one because it limits the headspace for the front and rear passengers uh, and the driver. Now you have also a wireless charger as an option and uh, comfort seats with massage options. So this is 32,000 euros for this car. Now, if you go for the middle trim, there's not less options, but uh, it is a bit cheaper well equipped and then uh the price is maybe four to five thousand less now uh i've reviewed the electric version now we're focusing on the petrol now this is a front wheel drive inside is a 1.2 liter uh pure tech it's a three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine producing 130 horsepower linked to eight speed automatic you can go for the 100 horsepower version same uh, engine with uh, manual transmission now let's show you the key fob here now we have a lock unlock and you can turn on the headlights keyless entry when you approach the car now before we start with the car just to mention 15 centimeters of ground clearance for this sedan if you unlock the car you can see the turn signals mirrors unfold if i hold the key you can see led lights now uh, we have the data running lights here and looking quite nice signature on the front uh, definitely also unique for the Citroen on the rear. Now this is something that's close to the C5X comfort wise and I'm really impressed with this car. It's a huge recommendation. Uh, they've updated the infotainment so the first owners of the C4 will uh, know there's a difference there. Uh, car's gonna keep locking and locking but I'm gonna keep the key in my pocket. Let's come a bit close, check this a white metallic color. Now this is an option you can uh, I think spec the base white color that's a non-metallic, so it's free. But this definitely stands out a little bit more. It looks different on different light. Now, you can see the daytime running lights. You can see the projectors here and the uh, plexiglass for the turn signal. So Citroen LED vision. Uh, pretty good performance of the LED headlights. You can see parking sensors 360. Now. Uh, in this top trim, you get this in piano black. I think in the middle trim, uh, you get it in same like plastic material here. And uh, the base trim, you don't get the uh, LED fog lights. I think these are cornering as my memory serves me. Now, the bottom part is like on an SUV, unpainted. You have the arches and the sides. So it's uh, less prone to getting scratched, like the clear coat perhaps. Um, I don't know, it's kind of almost like an off-road package, if you will. We have the little chrome accents, elegantly finishing with the Citroën badge. Uh, huge thanks to Citroën Croatia for giving the car for the review. You can see the air intake on the top and the bottom. You can see the radar, emergency braking, cruise distance, all the good stuff. Um, car looks really elegant. I like it a lot. And I gotta say from the first, it didn't really uh look good to me it was kind of weird the back end but it's starting to grow on me i like it and again having in mind this is the only sedan in this uh segment that's uplifted so quite unique and very comfortable i have to emphasize that a lot because it's just really stands out um 18 inch alloys you can spec a different alloy design these are Diamond cut silver on black. You can see 195-60 R18. Uh, came on this Winter Contact TS870P. Great winter tire. I have it on my car. Recommendation. And uh, car comes from the factory on summer tires, but these are fitted on the car. You can see also piano black detail. Now the electric version had those in blue and an E badge here. So the petrol is without that, obviously. You can see the metallic black side contrasting mirrors, car unlocks, you can see the turn signals. There's a blind spot here. I saw the car is dirty, I rinsed it, but 
I didn't have a cloth or microfiber towel to like actually wipe it. So it's uh, like it is. There's a puddle light here. I did a separate night review for the electric version, so check that one out to see the car at night. Now there's a heads-up display here, it comes out. Uh, it's on a plexiglass piece. There is a speaker here and the sound system is okay. We're gonna demonstrate that inside. Now there's a lane assist camera here and light and rain sensor. Checking the banner roof. Again, I would not advise getting one uh, because it's just uh, interior space limiting and I wouldn't go for that. If you're a short person, then go for it. I mean, then it won't matter to you as much. Uh, double laminated windshield, better for acoustics, better uh, resistant to ch stone chip hits. Now you can see there's a little chrome line under here. Uh, I've noticed they've didn't remove the protection fill here correctly, but it's, I think you can manage that. Uh, black tinted windows, of course, pan roof is tinted. We have the black shark fin antenna. I think only in the base model you get the classical antenna with a wire wrapped around it. Tinted window on the back. On the rear you get disc brakes, kind of important for some people because in some cars you get uh, drum brakes. Now you can see, uh, yes I've rinsed this off because there's a drainage here, so, but not from close distance, just from a, like far away, just to, you know, uh, wash out the dirt or the fuel residue. Uh, there's actually no run recommended here, but it's petrol. So, and if you take this out, you can put this thing here so it doesn't scratch anything on the body. Um, yeah, the car looks quite interesting and unique. You can see this white metallic color pops on the sun. It's really gorgeous. And now the rear taillights, you can see when I approach the car and locks, kind of smoked. Uh, but interesting because they extend to the side, same as a, a, a front headlights. So they look interesting. You can see them from the side, that's safer as well. You can see here Citroen LED vision. Now I didn't notice this like arrows pointing to the side for the turn signal on the electric version, as far as my memory serves me, but it is here on this one. So I'm not sure if this is like unique or I just haven't noticed it. You can see the turn signals. Now, let me not to forget just driver has the keyless when you open it, it locks and then when you press here it locks huh it should lock but it's just I'm not sure if it's confused or something because it keeps locking and locking sometimes that confuses the system and there is a physical cylinder there on the driver end now showing you the back end here you can see on the petrol you get two exhaust pipes they're not hidden uh, actually I think they're kind of quite nice looking for an exhaust pipe. You have the uh, dual, uh, actually, excuse me, you know, one fog light and there's a reverse light on the other side. There's dual uh, cat eyes, so you can see that. And there are LED license plate illumination. There's a big backing camera, now in HD resolution, and you can see the parking sensors there. Now, in this one, you get the fuser with three strikes, kind of discreet looking. And this piano black, the top is unpainted. And you can see the Citroen with a new badge, C4X. Now, let me open this up. So this is the height that opens automatically. You have to push it all the way up. Now, 510 liters of cargo space. This is how it looks. It's fairly tall here. There's enough room. It is wide wider on the top so potentially you could put a golf clubs here and now interesting detail I've noticed there's a, a light here now I've noticed in the electric version that there was no light on the top there was an opening but there was no light which was kind of odd I'm not sure if did they forget it what's the deal but that's the detail I noticed you can see seats knocked down 60 40 there's a middle opening but you can reach it only from the inside now Big room on the right and left. It's the same, you have those tether points. You can see there, four of them. Now, push this. There is five, stay with me. 
almost nine or ten fingers of height, so one finger is around two centimeters. Uh, there's a step here in plastic, and as you can see, you can get a spare wheel with small dimensions, probably is an option. I do hope so, because there is an opening for that, but this car came with a patching kit. On the top, you have a room for emergency triangle, and on both ends, there are room to pull, to close, you can see the rubber button to open. So, there it is. So a little different angle on the sun. See, from the top, the car kind of looks weird, but when you come like this, or like this, it looks okay. And I like the fact that the body is going upwards here. It's like a spoiler that's integrated from the body or in the body. Now, let's check the inside. Now, good opening and closing sound. Doors open wide enough to put a child seat inside. Good soundproof in this car. It is a bit windy here in the open, but it's a decent. Now, you can push here to lock here for the kids if you have them on the back seat. This is hard plastic, but this is padded. So this is leather. Now this is hard plastic, but on the front, this is also padded. And then you have this kind of textile, um, rough textile pattern there, big handles, speaker there, water bottle, and all power windows, fully automatic. Now, let me show you here. So the headrest, you can press to lower it. Now, you can see here the space. And you can notice in the reflection there, there's two speakers in the back. You can see them there. Uh, this is not flat because there is a step, so have that in mind. And there is a tether point right there, so it's kind of hard to open it uh, with one finger. But, you know, you can manage that. Now, I'm holding the camera. Textile here, leather. Now, the electric version had textile here, and this was the same. Now, this has quite nice texture. So here, it's more texturized leather here. It's more like an artificial leather, I would say. But you have here textile. Now I think they were mentioning they're using more sustainable materials, but uh, the new artificial leatherettes are durable. So, you know, nothing bad there. And then animals weren't hurt. You have the zippers here for the isofix points. If you have a child seat, now these are one of the most comfortable seats and I would definitely recommend them. So you should take them as an option. Now, uh, let's just jump inside. Now I've noticed I pushed the seat when I was filming all the way back. Um, yeah, that would be quite space limiting. But uh, this is the front seat. Now I've adjusted it for myself. And honestly, I try to go forward a bit, uh, but I have to lean backwards because of the panda roof. Now, if you go to the electric version, you will notice because it didn't have the panda roof, there is so much more headspace, even on the back seat here. See, they kind of try to maximize the headspace here, but look at this. So yeah, this is kind of limiting, but if you're not too tall person, then that may be uh, not uh, a limiting factor for the panda roof. Now you have the handles on all four sides, slowly closing, but there's no little hooks not even on the B pillars there. There is a lot of light coming inside because of the C pillar window as well. You have the light switch on the top. Now these turn on when the car is on. There are cold lights. Seems like a speaker here. And let's show you the armrest. So you can see the armrest, kind of plasticky, but you have two cup holders. Now to open this one, you can see this is blocked. So you need to take that one up and then you can access that, so then you can lower this one. I like to keep these down so I can see better on the back if there's no passengers on the rear. AC vents and two USBs, C and A, for the transition area. Now the leather seats, this one has a pocket here, both of them, so quite nice. Well packaged. Let me close the doors. 
good closing sound and good soundproof. Now headspace, as you can see, when I straighten up, let me just take this one up. Yeah, I cannot straighten up. Now in the uh, regular model, I think I, I had more headspace. So this is a very limiting factor. Even if I lower, you're gonna feel as an average person, same as me in most of the cars, because your hair is gonna be touching the top. You might even be bumping into it. And over the speed bumps, this is not comfortable. So again, I'm just being objective here, telling you the limits of the Panda roof. Now, it does bring a lot of light inside, so it looks a bit better on the front. But I think you can survive with that one if you want more headspace. Now, front doors are slightly heavier, but good closing sound, both front and rear. And same seals. Now, as I've mentioned, uh, this is padded with leather. You can see that goes in, same as this. But the front here is softly padded. Now there's a big handles here, same as on the rear. You can lock the windows on the rear. They're all, again, power uh, and fully automatic. And you have the mirrors there. There is a speaker here and big uh, pocket for the water bottle. Now tire pressure is here, the tire dimension. And you can see the automatic rubber paddles and focusing on the seats here. Now you push this one up to slide back and forward. Now this one, well, I guess the car needs to be on, but this one just uh, controls like this, the seat going up and down. And this one's obviously for the tilt of the top. Now, once again, very comfortable seats, bigger bolsters on the top. And there are wider for, um, how to uh, pronounce this politically correctly, for the extra large people it's more comfortable uh don't want to offend anyone but you know uh, if you're slightly overweight i know some people have health issues so no judgment there uh, this will be more comfortable now you have the lumbar here and the massage option checking out here this is for the heads up display height and brightness you have the height of the led projectors heated steering wheel and press twice to open the cargo space from the driver position key you can put it here if the 12 volt battery is low so the car can register it to turn it on now view at the top and uh, steering column right here is manually adjustable let's close this up good closing sound I have an external mic so it might you know sound weird on it but it's a good closing sound now um familiar if you watch the c4 dash quite nice and let's zoom back in now uh yeah the steering wheel is slightly to the side let me just see if i can unlock it so i think i have to turn on the engine yeah so now it's loose Okay, focusing on the steering wheel, we have a smooth leather, as you can see. It's a three-spoke, flat bottom, so sort of like a sport steering wheel. You have the sport paddles, uh, the front facing you is piano black, on the back it's just plastic. You have nice and physical buttons and no piano black there, so very minimal on the steering wheel. You have the nice horn, but you know, there's a little piano black here, but you know, that's not something you touch really. Um, nice chrome details and uh, we have here the cruise and speed limiter settings a distance uh, okay to set the speed to the speed limit the camera recognizes volume voice commands phone calls uh, station list so uh, this way you can just swipe to the next one but with this one when you press it you can actually see the station list and then you press to select it now light switch keep it on automatic and wiper controls this one's for the rear they're automatic now if you're hearing clicking noises it's my trackpad now this is uh, classical air vents open and why is this so stiff closed okay and they, these are rubberized but kind of was stiff I don't know uh, this is all soft and then soft and then P 
piece around the uh, head-up display is hard plastic now I know it's flickering on the camera but it's not in person so you are okay there's a speaker in the a pillar there is one here I showed you it's a nice finish on the top here despite being plastic and this is soft so hard plastic starts at the bottom now you have the new screen and uh, new infotainment that doesn't have the AC on the side like it did in the C4 and I think this is better this is slightly more responsive and faster you have this home button and uh, the car uh, shortcut here you can see the lane assist start stop functions close obstacle detection lane assist start stop automatic braking system traction speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition blind spot alert driver attention alert now when I picked up the car the blind spot wasn't working I just turned it on and off and it started working again now there's some tutorials here this is the home screen you can customize that one you can see the navigation you can have it full screen it is finally responsive and not laggy and see you can like customize here there's a different page here for the climate control uh, and there's a pull down menu here now I already covered this in the other one so I won't be focusing too much on this one let me just show you here uh, you have the profiles display screen colors and yeah brightness uh, um, radio updates and so on now uh, I wanted to see like if you hold three fingers it brought the application menu there so let me see here no just a second application driver now uh, there is a there was a fuel consumption but I just can't find it right now uh, there are games now you can just press here and then you have the tic-tac-toe uh, 248 and hangman so if you're in a stoplight you know you can kill time uh, yeah I actually forgot this doesn't have uh, consumption over here it has it on the display here so let me come back to that you press this one and then here you can see the consumption now I've picked up the car from the another reviewer who is mostly driving in the city traffic so fuel consumption is high I'm gonna reset it uh, come back to the night point of view review uh, or the day point of view driving with no talking and then check the fuel consumption now uh, this one here now let's focus on the display here it changes the views so we have the uh, lane assist and you have it all the time as you can see on the head up you have the navigation but it doesn't give you route here it just tells you where to turn and you have the radio station here so the electric version had a extra one but this is the main one with the speedo and the digital rpm now I cover the infotainment you can press here to mute now cutting this in I forgot to show you the music so let's just demonstrate some so Pretty nice sound system you can tune it in decent for basic speakers and uh, another thing I wanted to show you here there is a well mirror screen it shows mirror screen here but when you connect to the system uh, I think it works wirelessly uh, you do have of course uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and that's mostly it you have the hazards here lock unlock from the inside of the car you have the nice physical AC controls you can see it changes on the top automatically and I love this solution I didn't like the one when it kind of limited the real estate on the screen there now you have the heated seats you saw the heated steering wheel on the other side uh, so I like the physical controls this is another advantage of this car you have the start stop you have to hold it in for a second or two it's not like German cars where you just press it once you have the wireless charger I told you that was an option USB-C and A, these do illuminate at night. There's a little a light here, and you can see these lights, that's the ambient lights. This is rubberized, this is plastic, so there's a little room here, you can hide stuff. Don't want uh, someone to see. A little outlet there, and there's a little symbol for the battery when your phone is charging, it goes green. Now, there's a room for your smartphone here, for example. You have the driving modes, park, reverse neutral drive and a manual to use the little sport paddles 
and then you can see this now in the reverse let me show you the back and camera so it's nice it's HD resolution finally the rear camera maps when you go to the reverse you can switch to uh, excuse me here different angle there you go full screen and you can see the parking sensors only now I'm just gonna put it to park now driving modes and sport mode the car feels more alive you can hear the petrol more and every time you start the car is gonna reset to the normal so the normal is kind of okay for gentle driving it feels a little bit nim you have to like press the accelerator deep inside to push the engine to high revolutions to you know spark spark in it and <laughs> uh, get more power out of it but in sport mode it's just more responsive I didn't try the eco mode it's probably even more numb uh, but you know if you want the car to be more alive it's uh, the sport mode now this is kind of rubberized uh, cup holders kind of plasticky not adjustable you can see the electronic parking brake uh, no auto hold so you have to engage the parking brake if you don't want to keep your foot on the uh, traffic light on the brake pedal uh, huge piano black around here not my favorite again if they use this perhaps it'd be a lot nicer uh, this is softly padded but it's more mostly like hard is a slightly padded but it's okay I'd say and there is a lot of room here and there's a rubber mat there so that's okay uh, this extends but doesn't have like levels uh, like some of the competition you can see the very comfortable uh, seats now I did like really back this up and I didn't place it back there now here uh, there is an option to get a tablet holder but um, yeah just standard now there's some paperwork here um, but you can see there's a big tray that's rubberized so you can place some stuff here this is also a nice family car and over here uh, there is a lot of room inside there you can see that there's a warm light so very practical and very spacious head space now I have to lean backwards uh, I'm still touching the top with my hair so you know passengers on the back with a tall person on the front will be kind of limited uh, for their knee but if you don't go for the head up, uh, excuse me, if you don't go for the panel roof, uh, that's not an issue. Now, you can see here a little basil around the mirror. Uh, I think this one has maybe auto dimming. I'm not 100% sure because there's no little thing to flip it. Now, you can see here, there's an airbag information here for the front seat and passenger uh, seat belt information. I think these are sensors for the uh, inside temperature. You can see the lights there. So these side lights on the front and the back only work when the car is turned on. Emergency and road assistance, documents holder, big beauty mirror uh, with the light. Um, I wonder why it's not turning on. Maybe because it's on automatic setting for the. Let me just see here something. If I turn it on right there. No, it's weird that it's not turning on. Might be some sort of setting that I've kind of missed. This does not extend. And of course, not to forget opening of the pan roof. So you have that shield there and. It doesn't open all the way, so it op opens only halfway. That's kind of odd. But I guess because of the roof is going backwards, it cannot open all the way. Now, you have the shade here that's manual, but if you want more light, you can do that. Now, you can see there's a lot of uh, unclean part from the inside, so I guess, you know, they washed the cars and I rinsed it off, but they didn't uh, wash the inside mirrors. Now... Uh, you can see here on the sun there's finger smudges on the direct sunlight but usually that's not an issue at all and you can just you know use a little cloth and wipe it off well uh, I'm just gonna turn it off and pop the bonnet to show you the engine compartment now I didn't film the b-roll for this car because I filmed the electric version so just, just the same car more or less different power train 
now where was it yeah uh, left of the badge push up actually wait is it yeah it's up you can see the mechanism there now once again three cylinder there's like three strikes there i know it's a dirty but you can see it uh, three cylinder turbocharged petrol uh, 1.2 liter with 130 horsepower linked to a speed automatic blue thing there is your washer fluid reservoir and the rest you should leave to the mechanics so i'm gonna let it drop again beautiful sedan that's tall very comfortable that's it thank you for watching if you like the video give it a like helps me a lot leave a comment below how do you like it share it with those who are interested in the car and hope to see you in the next one stay safe bye